Hello guys, welcome to this course on Hadoop Basics. My name is Sijesh and this video I will explain how HDFS checkpoint works. The name node is keeping its metadata into two files called FS image and edits. FS image is the persistent checkpoint of the file system metadata. So whatever the file system metadata changes recorded into the file called edit. So these are two very important files, FS image and edits. So if you are not taking the latest FS image, so this edit file will keep growing. So in that case, so whenever we do a restart or recovery, so that will take a lot of time because the first it has to load FS image and apply this edit. So the huge sized FS edit file is always a headache. So we have a solution for this. So that is with the help of secondary name node, we can take the latest FS image and relatively lightweight edit. And this operation is called checkpoint or HDFS checkpoint. So let's see how this checkpoint works at very high level. So first, secondary name node asks primary to roll its edit into a new file. So for the demonstration purpose, so it's uh, named as edit.new. So it started writing into new edit file. The same time, secondary receives FS image and edits from the primary using HTTP get method. So secondary downloaded the latest FS image and edit from the primary. The next step, the secondary name node load this FS image into its memory and apply this edit. And it generate the latest FS image file. So this FS image file is the latest namespace metadata. Then secondary name node send this FS image file back to the primary using HTTP POST method. So this time, so primary uh, will get the latest FS image file. So primary replace its uh, FS image with the FS image which it received from the secondary. So that is the latest FS image is replaced. So primary will also replace the edit file uh, with the new one it generated that is edit.new. So now our primary have the latest if FS image and also the latest and lightweight edit file. So this is how HDFS checkpoint works. So by default, this uh, checkpoint time is based on various factors like uh, time duration. So that is every one hour by default. Also the size of the file, whenever the size of the fi edit file reach, 64 MB that time also this checkpoint happen also based on the number of transaction like every 1 million tra uh, transaction so all these parameters can be configurable later so by default the checkpoint is based on this parameter also we can do the manual checkpoint so after changing to safe mode so using HDFS DFS admin command so I hope you enjoyed the learning so please give me a like and positive comment if you like this video. So please subscribe this channel to get periodic updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.